Hi guys, so there's an old saying, be careful what you wish for because you might just get it. Well, I'll explain that in a bit more detail later. Here we have this report from ITV which says, Warburton struggle to stock supermarkets as 160 heavy goods vehicle driver vacancies remain unfilled. Warburton has said that it's struggling to recruit the lorry drivers it needs to keep shops and supermarkets supplied with bakery products. After petrol and toilet paper, I think bread is something important from both a dietary but also a psychological point of view, not very good to run out of. It goes on to say, The UK's biggest bakery firm delivers to 18,500 sites across the UK, including Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda, Morrison's and a large network of smaller independent convenience stores. Warburton's has vacancies for around 160 heavy goods vehicle drivers that it cannot fill and has been having problems keeping its customers stocked since July. The company which makes 2 million bakery products every day is worried that it won't be able to cope with the surge in demand in the run-up to Christmas and has asked the government to accelerate driver testing and allow them to bring in drivers from abroad. So Warburton's is suffering the consequences of Brexit. Well, we have this from Wikipedia. It says, The company donated £25,000 to the Conservative Party in 2010 and staged one of David Cameron's speeches at its Bolton headquarters. In a 2016 interview with Campaign, Chairman Jonathan Warburton was quoted as saying Brexit was a very good thing to have happened and called the European Union a rotting corpse. So the chairman of the company isn't just a Tory donor, but also a Brexiteer. Now his company is suffering the consequences of Brexit. I've said this before, while we point and laugh at such idiotic individuals, they will not suffer. They will not be put out onto the street. They will not default on their mortgage or struggle to pay their rent. They will not be forced onto universal credit. Their workers probably will. Brexit was generally supported by those who would never be affected by it. Nigel Farage, Boris Johnson and Jacob Rees-Mogg are all well protected from the fallout of Brexit. The poor and the working class are not, but the poor and the working class had to be convinced that voting for this mess would help them out in some way. Let me know in the comment section guys what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.